Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kylie collection and before I get started with this video, I just want to say that I know I haven't posted in like literally it's it feels like it's been forever but it's been like two three weeks that I haven't posted and I've just been feeling like kind of like under the weather and um with the YouTube um partnership guidelines now like I got kicked out of the partnership because I don't have um 1000 subscribers so um I just been kind of like after that like I, I kind of felt like unmotivated and honestly I just do videos for you guys so like you know like I've been thinking about it and I'm just like you know what it's not their fault um that what the things were going on and then I've also had some family issues as well so it's just a lot um and I've just been working a lot too so like it's just a lot to take in but hopefully now um I'm gonna have more time to myself and I'm not gonna be working as much so um, I'm gonna be able to film more videos and yeah you guys are my motivation and you know I do videos for you guys so I just want to say that I'm sorry for not posting in a really long time enough of that talking today I have a review on the Kylie Cosmetics collection and stay to the end because I have a little surprise for you guys. So um, we're gonna be reviewing their collection, her collection today. Um, so first thing I have this gel kind of um, eyeliner, and this comes in a little tube, like not tube. This is like a um, pot or something like that. I don't know, but when i saw this this is so tiny guys like i don't know if you guys have like the anastasia but i'm gonna compare it to like in size to the anastasia like let me open this for you guys okay i barely have any left but look at the difference guys like the circles are so much smaller so this says that it has um 0.11 ounces so 3.0 grams um which that's not a lot but as the anastasia pomade has 4.0 grams and 14 ounces mm, it's not like in numbers it doesn't look that much of a difference but you know in sizes it kind of looks like different but here is that one and i wanted to do something with yellow but i'm not sure like i was thinking on like yellow possibilities to do and i wasn't really sure um but let me just like say look at the inside is all yellow and then it has like yellow stars so her packaging is just great and then it has like a, a lightning bulb right here um so there's that and then the next thing that i have is the cosmic lipstick and this has yellow packaging it's a yellow um packaging again and then it's it's like a brownish kind of color and i can swatch this for you guys so this is kind of like a brown and this is kind of like half half on the lipsticks because I wanted to review her lipsticks but every time I was gonna get them they would always go back out of stock and then I never got around to it just because they were kind of old now to review but there is that one and then I have um, another lipstick and this is what the packaging looks like it has a lot of bulbs and this one is Nova and Nova is actually a very pretty color and it's just a blue packaging Nova looks very pretty guys see it's a very like pretty nude and these are very creamy actually kind of excited to try these out oh and by the way guys there's like lightning bulbs on this like in, 
and braided in there so i don't know if you guys can see but they're there so that's what that one looks like very like nude um pretty pinkish color and then i have her gloss which is this is flash and it's like so pretty the packaging it's like hologram um but this is what it looks like it's kind of like a purple and i'm gonna be trying these on the lips guys don't worry right here you can barely see it um i think it's more like a color on the top because you can barely see that but it's it's there it's gloss i have some some glittery eyes and i have the this is the twinkle twinkle and superstar duo okay just off the bat i noticed the wand is very you have to be very careful with it um these kind of look I think this is the same packaging she used for her uh, concealer. Yeah, there you guys go. So, same packaging as her concealers. Here's her concealer. Um, same packaging as the Jeffree Star lipsticks. Okay, so these feel creamy. One of them is a little bit too sheer. So, I don't know. We're going to have to try these out on the eyes. They do look... Um, very like pigmented kind of like almost like a shadow not really like a glitter so we're gonna see how these um look on the eye and we're gonna see if they actually crease because i know some glitters that aren't that good you know they actually crease um so about the highlighters we're gonna talk about that um after we finish the eye look the two of her palettes and this is the eye of the storm press powder palette and this is calm before the storm palette and honestly guys packaging wise i am so up for this one like it's so pretty on the outside and this one it's nice it's like hologram again but i don't know what the dots are for um but okay let's open this she should have done like for this one instead of like circles she should have done like um raindrops i think it would have gone like really pretty with it but this is what this one looks like very pretty hologram and then you get all these colors and these are kind of like i don't know they look weird like together they look kind of weird um and then you get you have this one the calm before the storm palette and this one has all these very pretty pastel um, colors. And these colors, honestly, when I opened it, it literally gives me, like, Easter vibes. Like, I don't know. They're just so pretty. Um, so, I'm going to swatch some. Okay, so here's a purple. I'm going to try to swatch it. And that purple is very, like, kind of like... It almost feels chalky, to be honest. Um... But it's very sheer. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right here. You can barely see that purple. So, I don't know, Carly. Um, let's see. I want to try this pink. And this pink is very sheer again. It almost looks like, um, like kind of like a white color. You can't barely see the pink in there so i don't know okay so then i want to swatch the yellow color look at that yellow it's very intense okay yellow is a little bit chalky but you can definitely see it better than the purple that i swatched so then i'm gonna swatch this like grayish color let's see this one looks very pigmented so yeah this actually looks pigmented but it looks it's right here it's a little bit sheer but you could definitely tell it's there so those are all the swatches that i'm going to do okay guys so i'm gonna go in with this purple color right here and i'm gonna go 
with a blending brush. So I'm going to put this color in my crease. So this purple color almost looks very kind of like grayish for some reason. So so I'm going to go in with this other color, this purple color. It's um kind of like more brighter brighter. So so I'm going to see if this one looks a little bit purplish. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this dark purple right here. And I'm going to be putting this color on my outer corner. And I'm kind of smoking this out. I almost really don't like the shade of this um, purple color just because it looks like I said it looks a little bit grayish even the color on my brush looks kind of gray and this almost looks kind of chalky as well I don't know if you guys can see that right here it's kind of chalky I don't know, kind of like, this kind of, um, kind of like the consistency of the, of the palette almost reminds me of, like, the way the colors are playing. They kind of remind me of the, of her holiday collection palettes, um, just like the way that the colors are playing, um, but so now I am going to go with this pink color right here and I'm gonna put this in my middle lid we're gonna blend this out and what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of give us a transition between the glitter and the matte color so i think that pink really picked up really nicely um i almost wonder that if i if i pat on the purple on the outer corner if it, it's gonna look a little bit better instead of blending it So yeah, I do think that if by packing the color in, I think it looks much better than uh, blending it out. So that's definitely a tip for these colors that if um, you want to get that exact color that is on the palette and you want it to show more of a pigment, I definitely do recommend you guys to kind of just like pat on the color instead of trying to blend the color out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Superstar, which is the pinkish kind of color from the her glitters. And I don't know if I should directly apply it with a brush or if I should use my brush. Um, okay, we're going to see. Okay, so I definitely think you should use um, kind of like another brush that you might have. So guys, I almost don't really know how I feel about these. I think they're just like, uh, I don't know, I don't really like the consistency of them so these glitters they also have a fallout and i don't know i think that this was supposed to be like more like a i think it was supposed to be more of like kind of like a rose gold color but it's it turned more into like a gray silver kind of color i don't think i'm really digging these um i think that i'm just gonna stick to my stilla ones um because 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but like once my eyes start closing and opening, they kind of like kind of keep going up a little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and eyelashes off camera and then I'll be back to review the lipsticks. Um, no, it's the lip gloss and the lipsticks and then the highlighter. Okay, guys, so I have my eye makeup done and so now... I am going to try her lipsticks and I'm gonna go in with Nova and Nova was that very pretty kind of like nude color okay so that is very very nude like you can barely tell that I have something on my lips but on top of that I'm going to go in with the gloss so I think that the gloss swatched it looks very pretty but then on top I don't know, I'm not really digging it. The Nova lipstick, it looks very pretty. I think that it's a very kind of settled look. Especially for this kind of like smoky eye look that we have going on. Okay, so we're going to use her fan brush. And I'm going to put some of the light highlighter. I think it's a little too settled for me. Um, but you might have to work the intensity up so i'm gonna try some of the pink on top some of this one so i tried this one first and i'm gonna try this one on top okay so i think that you definitely have to kind of like build it up okay so there you guys go um now on to review and stay tuned because the surprises after the reviews so stay tuned okay so on the palettes um I don't know. I don't I I don't think I really like this one as much. Um like the colors aren't really calling my name that well. I don't know. This one the only color that really like calls for me is the yellow, but out of the other colors it doesn't really call out my name. The packaging on this one is super pretty. Um and then for this palette I think these are very pretty um, colors. Um, I would have to try them out. The pink one, when you um, when you packed it on the lid, it looked very pretty. I think that I'm actually gonna like these colors. Let me know if you guys want to see another video like with a totally different look, maybe more of a like pastel kind of look. Maybe use this palette only um, because these colors like really call my name. I mean, and they're perfect for one another. Like, you could just, like, put a little bit on the outer corner and then put the, the shimmery shade on top just because they're so similar in shade. So, um, I think if you guys are deciding between the two palettes, I think this one is way better. So, I would definitely go for this one. And this one, the purple color, were, they were kind of swatchy, kind of grayish. Not really the same color on the palette. Um... So I think she definitely does have to improve in that because it's something that a lot of people had trouble with in her holiday collection. So I think it's kind of, she has to work more in her consistency. Um, but for the highlighters, I think they're kind of, like if I'm like this, you can't really see it. But if I move, you can see it more. So I think they're a little bit more settled. Um, maybe if I were to use my finger on these, um, it would look a little bit better. So, by the way, this is my first time trying her highlighters, and I think they're not bad, but they're not the greatest highlighters, and I think it's just highlighters are really stepping up their game. Like, the Anastasia highlighter, that's, I can't stop using that highlighter. It's literally so bomb. Um, like the glow on it is just insane and I think that's why I have more high I have higher standards for highlighters now So I think this this is great like it kind of compares to the regular Anastasia glow kids um, But you know Kylie you got to step up your game, you know, like they're just like basic not really something like whoa like oh my goodness type and i think a little bit of my anastasia highlighter went in there just because my brush was kind of dirty and i've been using this for that 
highlighter but i i mean i think they're great they're very settled and it kind of almost makes gives me like kind of like a you know summer kind of makeup look something that you want something more settled so i think they those were okay okay for so for the duels i don't know i have some mixed emotions for these I mean, they're not the greatest, so I'm not really, like, digging them. Um, and then the wand, I think it could just be a little bit better just because the wand is so big that you can't really control it and be um, kind of precise with the color. Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to have to see how these work out. And maybe if, I, if you guys want the second video of like another like a brighter look maybe then i'll do kind of like i'll let you guys know real quickly um how these worked out because for glitters like they can look very pretty like once you apply them but like literally like at the end of the day they're like really creasy and very clumpy and like they just don't look flattering flattering at all so i don't know i have my mixed reviews about these i think that if you just like I think that if you're really looking for some really nice glitters um, like this, I don't think you guys should go for the Kylie ones. Um, I think you should try the Stilla ones first um, and then try the Kylie ones because, I don't know, I, I think since I've tried the Stilla ones and the Stilla ones are just kind of like the best ones out there, um, in my opinion, I just think that that's why I don't really think these are so great. Um... But, you know, they're basic. They work. They're they're okay. So next for the lip gloss, I feel like I always have, like, I always don't like her lip glosses. But I just, I'm really waiting for her to make kind of like a lip gloss that has, like, color instead of just looking, like, really bright and um, not very, like, you know, flattering by itself. Because if you pair them with another lipstick or another liquid lipstick i think they look very pretty some of them but if you just wear them by themselves they look not that great so i'm just waiting on her to make a lip gloss a a lip gloss yeah that is going to look pretty by itself not as a topper so i'm just waiting on that kylie okay so now on for her lipstick um so here are her two lipsticks that i have and i actually like them both i think they're very um creamy and the colors of them are very pretty so i definitely do recommend her lipsticks now again they're so, kind of something that i had to see how they wear over a time um but they are very creamy i've only used the mac lipsticks um apart from these and a few drugstore ones that i don't really remember how they worked but i think that these are very nice and they're very creamy and they kind of compare to the mac lipsticks so as for her eyeliner i did not use this but um if i do if you guys do want me to do a brighter look i am going to use this or i can just even do a separate um video on this because i am in love with the nyx um eyeliner yellow eyeliner and i think it's the one that people mostly use um but you guys let me know if you guys want to what do you how do you guys want to see this um this being tested this eyeliner because i'm just so curious to how it'll work and another thing is that i'm not really like i don't really work well with gel um eyeliners just because you know they're not that great in my opinion i know that some girls like it's their holy grail and they cannot use a pen but uh you guys let me know how you guys want to see this i can definitely go more into detail with this or maybe i can just even do it on snapchat okay so that was the whole review for these um and now on to the surprise that i had for you guys i'm going to be giving away three of the products i did end up getting her whole bundle and you guys saw on snapchat i was like right after the payment went through i was like i'm regretting this so much because i feel like her bundle is just so much i feel like she should have like a discount for her bundle um 
like a like a actual really big discount but um i'm not gonna be opening these just because they're gonna be for someone and i don't really want to ruin the packaging or i don't really want to you know be touching their stuff but this is the kylie jenner nightfall lipstick this is the black one so you guys are gonna be getting this one and then you guys are gonna be getting the kylie jenner loose powder highlighter like I said, I hadn't, I haven't tried any of the, her highlighters, but you guys are gonna be lucky because um, you guys are gonna be trying this highlighter out, and I, want, I don't know if this has a name. Yeah, I don't think this has a name. That's weird, but you guys are gonna be getting her loose highlighter, and then you guys are also gonna be get getting another one of her glitter eye duels and this one has a dark brown and a blue color in here so you guys are gonna be getting these to try them out you know i know that kylie gets kind of expensive and kind of pricey at times so i want to give out to you guys um i feel like i haven't given out to you guys in a while even though last time i did it was in december so you know it's been a while i was gonna put these in my 1000 subscriber giveaway but i was just kind of like you know what i haven't given anything to them in a while and i just want to have more winners instead of having you know like a really big winner so i'm gonna be giving you guys all three of those things it's a little tiny giveaway so it's not something big where i have to do you know a video by itself um so for the rules you have to be subscribed to my channel and you just have to comment down below where do you guys follow me at do you guys follow me on twitter um instagram or snapchat and then comment your username uh because literally that makes it so much easier if you guys follow me on any social media instead of me trying to email you guys and then the email from your youtube doesn't really work and so it's just much easier to um pick the giveaway winner like that and get a hold of them and i understand that some people don't have any other social media apart from youtube so if you guys um so you guys could also leave your email address and you know just say oh i'm subscribed to your channel um because i understand that some people just have um youtube so that is my review for the kylie um weather collection i hope you guys enjoyed and again i'm so happy to see you guys again and i'm so sorry for not filming in such a really long time so don't forget to hit that like button comment down below um if you want to enter this giveaway and subscribe remember you have to be subscribed and i'll be checking so with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video bye